to speed 160 knots, maintain 40 meters. 7460, turn right, heading 180 degrees. 356, contact power at 118 decimal 5, goodbye. Speed 887, turn right, heading 180 degrees. Speed 198, reduce speed 160 knots, maintain 40 meters. 60 knots, 7 knots, speed 180. Speed 887, turn right, heading 180 degrees. Right, speed 188, contact power, 180 decimal 5, goodbye. Howdy folks, hope you're well. Um, I've just uh, jumped in the Gazelle um, after getting it on the free week. I'm sure a lot of you are flying it. I um, just wanted to give you my thoughts, give, do a little bit of inf uh, bit of an informative on it as well. Um, so we'll get jump straight into it. I mean, this thing is quite old. It was maiden flight was in, or this test flight was in 1967. Um, entered service with the British Army in about 72. Um, there was a few different variants of it. It was mainly a uh, a search and search and uh, reconnaissance helicopter, and it had a, a night sun fitted to it. A night sun. Uh, searchlight fitted to it. It had some SNEB 68mm rockets, I think they were, or 60mm rockets fitted to it as well. It was modified. And that was with the Army Air Corps. Um, the RAF had some as well. They had uh, w one particular model made, where, where only one, one was made, um, which was a relay helicopter, a communications helicopter. The Navy had some to support the Marines, so the Fleet Air Arm. Um, and yeah, it was it was in service all over the world with French, um, with many other operators as well. Um, as you can see here, this is the French variant with a Hot Three missile, anti-tank guided missiles on them. Uh, it was a, it was a very light design. I mean, if you get a burst of AK fire or something on this in in DCS, it will take your main rotor off. And you know, it's 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 design. It was the fastest in its tier. It was um, it was designed with service. Um, in mind, so very easy to service. All the bearings are lifetime rated. You can see the exposed um, turbofan engine up there, and that's where the sand filter would be. Uh, and this thing actually needed an extra filtration. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually needed an extra filtration system in order to um, prevent damage to the engine and ultimately the engine engine dying or stalling. Um, because it was operated in Rwanda, it was operated in, in Syrian, in the Syrian conflict, and all over the world. It was it, it was also the the first helicopter to use this fantail design um, as an anti talk measure. Um, but yeah, as I say, all the bearings, uh, lifetime guaranteed, and all the reservoirs and everything very easy to access. As you can see, the exposed engine, um, turbine engine fan. Uh, there, but we'll get straight into it. We'll get started up. I'm going to go and deploy some missiles on some tanks and prevent an armored advance further over it on the map. So I'll see you over the other side.
Okay, folks, so we're all set up. Uh, let's get the track our straights. We're all set up now in auto hover mode, and we're going to start scanning for the targets. So uh, we'll centre the. They're over here. As you can see, the armor advance. And there they are. You can see just on the front there. The if I move it around, you can see the video camera module unit moving around up front there um, and that's what's sighting the the targets um, where are we there they are right they might be just out of range I think um, we'll know by by lasing the targets so the laser range is up there yet yeah, they're 900 meters out of range 950 meters out of range so we just wait for them to come into range and then we can start engaging turn the helicopter, slew the helicopter onto the direction of the target. Don't think there's any closer targets. No, there isn't. There's quite a few of them out there. So we've got four missiles, four hot missiles, and HOT is a, a French acronym, but it tra simply translates to high subsonic optical remote guided tube launched I believe something along those lines um, if I can remember correctly hot three missiles let's have a quick look I've got it written down here somewhere yep high subsonic optical remote guided tube launched so obviously that's in English in the, the French acronym apparently is hot um, and it fits into that uh, that acronym but I'll have to take their word for it I'm not going to get any closer, and the reason I'm not going to get any closer is because there's um, an enemy SAM at the there's an enemy SAM in this far, which the the ring just just cuts off there. So I'm not going to get too close. Um, I don't want to make myself any more vulnerable than I have to. Let's have a quick scan round. As you can see, the helicopter will slew around. Four thousand five hundred. Just under four thousand meters. Anything under four thousand meters, I believe. Is uh, what, what will uh, what will get you the ticket? Four and a half, we'll try that. Might be under five, I might have got it wrong. No, it definitely is under four, under four clicks. That little ready light down in the bottom right corner is um, sh showing us that it's that we're ready. It's ready to launch. Some friendly Bradleys which are returning fire. Trying to laze it, there we go, and it's coming down. Let's uh, launch another one, see if we can get him. This distance is closing. Yep. 
He's in range, we didn't hit him. We're not very good at this. Maybe we'll get a... Maybe we'll get a kill. Splash. That's it, we're all out. Okay, we got one kill. Um, I mean, I'll take that. I think I put the, the visor down, which is why it's gone a little bit dark. Um, I'll take that. We'll uh, RTB and um, we'll have a go with the Mistral, which is the uh, anti air variant. Yeah, okay, folks, we are in the Mistral variant now of the Gazelle. Um, so. We need to arm the Mistral. Need to arm the missiles. Mistral's um, French short-range air-to-air missile. Um, they're actually they were originally man pads. They were originally made with some countermeasures on. Um, they were originally designed as man pads. Um, so shoulder-launched weapons. Interestingly enough, get the sight down. There's the tone. Okay. Right, um, so our mission um, is, there's a, as you can see, there's a Bofors cannon there. Um, this is a training base. Um, we've had intelligence to suggest there might be two MI-24s. There you go, coming over to attack the base. Now, I'm not going to look at the F-10 map, I'm just going to fly over to the waypoint that I've set, try and intercept them and take them down with the Mistrals. I don't know if they've got anti-air, I've got an IR deflector and a um, sand filter on there, because obviously we're on the, uh, not the Syrian map, we're on the Persian Gulf map. As you can see, four missiles, very straightforward point and shoot there, short range, so I think they're about two miles, equivalent to a sidewinder, basically. Right, um, so we'll head off because they're going to be making progress onto our position. I still haven't learned how to use the Nadir system yet, so um, still just just getting to grips with the aircraft. I'm, I'm going to buy it. I think it's going to going to happen. I'm going to make the most of the free free week and then make the most of the discount. I think. Got our RWR up there. Right, what I'll do is I'll probably cut you back in when we find something to shoot at, i.e. the MI-24, so um, I'll, uh, I'll leave folks, you there. For um, the ground observation post, which is just over the other side of this hill, with um, using the combined arms, there's... Um, there's some MI-24s coming over the hill, as we know. Um, they should be coming over just in, in front of us here. Yeah, I'm just going to push up into this little valley just to sort of hide myself away and just really make use of what this, this helicopter is made for, which is um, scouting, being stealthy, being quick, being fast. And then we'll just pop out very undramatically and... Um, Annihilate the uh, MI 24s and soon Mistral's.
two of it. I can very, very carefully. There we are. Now in an auto hover. Keep an eye out all the way around. Have a look at those MI twenty fours coming over the hill. Oh blankets. Saw, I, I only saw the two from the uh, observation truck. They are dead ahead. Box two. Box two.
Okay, folks, so I've just repositioned myself um, just onto the other side of this uh, defilade from here. Um, and uh, I'm just popping out just to check when just to check when they're coming over. Um, we've had notification from... I've put an outpost out and I've been over on the combined arms to have a look at it. I can see two MI-24s. Um, can't see what they're carrying. Oh, we've got an indication. I think they're probably out the other side of here now. Probably started moving. Oh, there they are. Labels are on. We'll turn labels off. We don't want labels. Just sort of keep it down. Try and get a lock. Fox 1. Fox 2, those are. Those are Fox 2s. They are launched. Fox 2. Duck away in case they fired anything back. As I say, I don't know what they've got. I've got a visual on the one that's going down. So they've, uh, there's one at Fox 2. He's down. Destroyed. There's uh, two. There might be one more. Just seen him on there. Thought there was, sort of doubted myself there. There is one more, he's low by the looks of it, down there somewhere. One missile left, so we're going to use it sparingly. Looks like he's following the highway. It's him, yeah. Fox two. He's been destroyed. Just trying to track the missile, but wouldn't let me do it. There we go. Right, um, So the Gazelle then, yeah, it's a great, great little aircraft. I haven't tried the 40mm gun. Um, there's a 40mm cannon you can put on one of the variants of this thing. High explosive ammunition, I think it is. Um, that's the only one I haven't tried. But it flies great. Um, it's quite difficult to put into a hover and, con and control it at, at a lower speed. When you're, when you're moving around, it's not too bad. Um, just bear that in mind if you're going to buy it. Um, but it's very easy to start up. The controls... You know, it's not it's not hard to, to arm everything up. You know, you don't have to go through uh, a complicated process like you would have to if you were, you know, launching Mavericks on an A-10 or, um, you know, CDU bombing or something like that. It's, it's nowhere near as complicated. It's it's pretty much just a point and shoot. Um, so, yeah, definitely recommend it. Um, pick it up in the discount. 
obviously I'm sure everybody's having a play with it this week anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah, absolutely brilliant aircraft. Cheers then, and uh, take it easy.